Hey guys, what is up? The Gaming Gadget here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my highlights from Fortnite for today out of 8 hours of footage. So we're going to be going over the top 3 best rounds in my opinion. And I'm going to be going through them with you guys step by step. But please comment down below how you think I can improve at this game. I am always looking for ways to get better. I play about 8 hours a day for you guys uh, so far this week. And I just really am trying to get it down so I can make more content for you guys that is positive and you guys will enjoy so please leave your comments on how i can improve down below but let's get into this we land at the factories with my squad this is my only squad round today that made it into the big deal um but anyways we get some supplies we get some shield we get some shotguns so we're all set for some battles we saw some guys land over on the other factories to my right so we're gonna be heading over there next after we loot out this place Anyways though, my whole team comes over, we didn't find anyone in there, so we come over outside, and while we're outside, we start getting hit with an AR, so uh, me and my teammate, we team up, and we take this guy out together, we knock him first, and then we just take him out immediately, we don't want to take any chance of him getting back up. Um, anyways though, we start coming over to uh, Salty Springs, that's our next place on the list, we start raiding this house, and uh, as I step out, I see a guy crossing, uh, the, not the street, but just a field. I knock him pretty easily, and then I just eliminate him right afterwards. Uh, later on, we go over there, we take his stuff. Um, I didn't really take too much for him, just some of the uh, ammo and materials. He he had a little bit of materials, but uh, it definitely helped my count a whole bunch. Um, anyways, those materials come into handy right here when we're building up to the mountain, so we can fight off this guy in the tower. Um, my terrible AR aim, guys, I really need your help to solve this, um, but he comes over, I just shot, I just shoot him with the, uh, with the shotgun right there, I'm using incorrect grammar right there, I shoot him with the, with the past tense, I don't know, guys, I'm struggling with my aim and my grammar. Anyways, we come to this next fight here, three kills on the board already, uh, looking to improve it, however, my teammate shortly gets knocked right then and I have no idea where any of these guys are in the first place but I just go ahead and uh, revive him and soon as I do I look up see that these guys are over here they throw the boogie bomb doesn't really affect any of us until I get sniped and uh, I just start going at it with healing up I get up to 75 don't have any extra meds though and uh, one of my teammates go down my biggest mistake right here was jumping down if I didn't jump down I probably could have won this fight but it didn't turn out that way and we end up placing eighth but anyways on to the next round we start landing at these factories this time you know you can tell that I really like the factories now but all the other buildings were taken so we decided to take this one we got our AR and our shotgun so we're all set but to make matters even better, I find some C4s and I'm like, hey, why not just uh, trap the place out? So we get a whole bunch of C4s in here, but I need more. So I raid this chest and then put the rest on. And after now, after this, it's just a matter of waiting. We come over here. This guy comes in. I accidentally press the wrong button. And so it takes me a while to get to the right one. But when I finally do, it's too late. And um, I am able to shotgun this guy, though. It didn't look like he had a weapon, so because he, he was just building. But um, I do end up winning this fight, and uh, it turned out pretty good. We got a sniper out of it, so, you know, I'm not too good with the sniper. But, you know, you never know when you might need it. I place a trap right there, and I start raiding some other chests in some other buildings. You all wait for another fight to come up. And as soon as one does, I quickly build around myself to... Uh, try to avoid getting hit uh, I think the guy had gone inside down by this point so I built up on top and sure enough there are footsteps inside the building so you no know, I break the ceiling get a quick shot off of him with a shotgun and later on get some AR shots on him I jump down because it's pretty hard to hit him from these angles and he keeps going back in and healing himself up you know and so I build uh, these ceilings right here to make sure he can't come up and get a snipe on me or shotgun on me I missed the jump and so I just come over here you know why not just go around and take him out we get the chug jug and uh, we're able to heal up back to full shield back to full health and um, two kills on the board so far doesn't sound so bad for uh, my standards of how well I do on Fortnite but while we're exiting 
the building to get away from the storm. See another guy. So, you know, we just get him a couple times in the neck, it seems like. And uh, we're able to gather a lot of his stuff. And, uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. We got two med kits now, so, you know, I'm not too scared of the storm. Um, I'm able to heal up when we get back inside. And after I get out, it's not my best move right here. You know, I see this guy up on the mountain. I start shooting, which was probably pretty dumb to begin with. Um, luckily, I'm able to get out of this one while, as I start building up. Um, I get a couple shots on the guy, as you see right here, but then after this, I come up to the very top of the mountain, and, um, I look around for, like, 30 seconds or so, don't see anything, so I just decide to leave the mountain. Obviously, he had left too, because he placed around those stairs. Um, anyways, though, we come over here to Moisty Mire. Uh, this may or may not be the same guy over here, I don't quite remember, and I couldn't really tell by the, by the looks of his skin. But uh, I'm able to use his launch pads to try to get closer to him, but he's kind of built a base already, as you can see to the right. So I started thinking, you know what, there's eight guys already. That's all that's left. Let me just build a quick base right here into the storm. Maybe I'll be able to knock that guy down too. And, um, or not in the storm, in the circle, sorry. And um, I'm able to build up quite a bit high. And by the time I'm done, there's only four guys left. So I start shooting at this guy. He becomes a pain though. And totally knocks down my base with the rocket. So I quickly build these floors or these uh, walls, I mean. But it's not going to be enough. He's going to end up taking me out. And I end up placing fourth. Um, 91 guys remaining by the time we land. That's the kind of wonders Tilt he does for this place now, guys. Hopefully, when they get rid of it, we won't get too much of this stuff left. And we'll actually get to uh, experience getting a lot more kills from guys in other places. But um, I am able to raid a few, a few chests over here. When I hear them guys building, I quickly build up myself. So that I don't have a shotgun, I have to use my AR. It gets a couple headshots though. And um, when I replace, when, or when I pick up the potion, I accidentally replace my AR with it. So um, I don't see it and I don't feel like picking it up really. Because, you know, I'm a little bit too scared this guy has a weapon of his own and will likely headshot me with it, but I am able to get those easy pickaxe kills, as you saw, I start throwing these grenades at this guy, not realizing that they're just blow up in midair, um, kind of waste all of my AR ammo on him though, and so, you know, I finally give up, decide to go over to a new guy, and, um, it doesn't turn out too much better, as you'll shortly see, um, I basically just waste even more AR ammo on this guy, as you see now, um, that and building supplies, but, you know, when I finally come to my senses, I just decide, you know what, it's time to leave. The storm's coming, we gotta get out of here. I have like 10 shots left. We finally get some more ammo, though I meet over here at this place, whatever it is. I don't, I'm not really sure what it is, actually. Comment down below if you know what this place is supposed to be. But the storm starts, the storm starts coming in the middle of our fight. When I get out, he's still shooting at me, so you know, just keep building up those walls. Make sure he can't attack me and get too much health off of me. He finally gets away, but I am able to track him down to this area over here. And um, I finally jump down so I can get this shotgun over here. Just in time, too, to get this big time 237 point shot. So even if he somehow had more than the maximum health you can possibly have in the game, I still would have killed him. Anyways, this guy is about to come out of his house. So I start building uh, a little base right here just to kind of shotgun him. He decides to stay in the house, which actually ended up being a pretty smart move for him though. Because I end up going on top of his house, I'm not really able to shoot him through these cracks right here. And um, I start getting shot out from um, around the house, so I just build these walls up here, hopefully, hoping, hoping it will be enough. Kind of stumbled over a caution word there, but it wasn't going to end up being sniped. But guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Make sure to tell me how I can improve in the comments down below. Anyways, though, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching, and of course, gadget on.